Hey, Dr. Paul here. We're going to go check out the follow-up on our young man who had the terrible foot rash. He's been to the dermatologist today, and we're going to give you the answer of what really was causing this rash. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, my goodness. Much better. That's fantastic. So what's happened since we last saw you? Well, I, I still could barely walk, and then I eventually started to limp, and I could uh, begin walking normally again and all the blisters deflated and either, I don't know if they just popped by themselves and absorbed into my socks or whatever, um, but they eventually just dried over and it just became really dry and it eventually just starts peeling off, you know, in the shower. Well, well, four to five days really is when it all started coming off. It comes off real fast. Okay. And it was really red uh, a few days ago. Um, right. Just the raw skin. Yep. So what happens when you've had a, a, a peeling skin wound is you have new skin forming from underneath and that's what this skin looks like and it's healed really nice. I mean you've got, except for this little bit of crusting left over, you've got brand new skin that's now mm -hmm. discolored for a while. That'll probably stay discolored for weeks but eventually look perfectly normal. And the, the first time this happened, it, you know, it, it did this thing and they looked a little discolored for a while and yep. they were totally active. Ended up totally normal. Very good. So, um, as you recall, because we, have, we haven't shared with our viewers what caused this, and we're starting to get a lot of questions. Well, what caused this? And as you recall, I called you the morning after I saw you the first time, and I said, I have a hunch, because it was so symmetric on each of your feet that there was something going on with perhaps one of your shoes. What did the dermatologist say? They said it was allergic contact dermatitis. Okay. So not an infection, no, no, no bacterial, staph, nothing like yeah. that. Um, just a really bad allergic reaction yeah. to a chemical on my shoes, probably an adhesive. Um, a lot of those like aren't mm -hmm. you know, regulated. It doesn't say on the box or anything. Gotcha. So uh, that's why they're doing the patch testing with see. Okay, so um, <laughs> when you see an unusual distribution of a rash, and we saw the fact that the distal third of his feet were just like a mess, as you've seen, for it to be on both feet, I was thinking more and more, this has got to be a contact thing. And that's what the dermatologist said. He's seen this many times. Um, I will say, you did grow staph from that flu out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so had you not gotten better, we would have been aggressively treating a staph infection. Anytime you have a break in the skin, it's possible to get an infection. We all have staph on our skin anyway. So when you when you had that just open wounds, open wounds I'm thinking this might be infected. So who knows the uh, the burn treatment idea didn't do any harm, but what you really needed was a strong steroid, and he gave you oral prednisone, mm -hmm. which we had started you on that night it's before. Clobate, clobatazole. That's what it is. All right. Good and clobatazole. There are steroid creams a list yay long, probably about fifty of them. They go from hydrocortisone you can buy over the counter, which is the weakest one, right. all the way down to stuff like that. That's just like crazy strong. So you were at the dermatologist this morning, mm -hmm. and they did patch testing, I understand, right. on your yeah. back. Mm -hmm. well, what, what did they tell you they were doing? Uh, they're putting common allergens on my back, and they're very small, so if I had a reaction, it'd be pretty localized, and it wouldn't blow up, you know, like this. Yeah. Uh, and they put 70 of them on their own Seven back zero. Right mm -hmm. Can yeah. we take a look at those? Yeah. All right. So we have 70 different little patch tests. This is impressive. And of course, they've got them all labeled at their office of what's what. And you're to leave these on. This one's the shoe. This is the shoe. Okay, <laughs> number eight. And the actual shoe. And the actual shoe. shoe. Yeah. So, uh, that's brilliant. Uh, what did they tell you to, to be careful about with this? Uh, I can't get it wet or okay. uh, sweat excessively because that might mess with the, um, with the results. And also, I had to stop taking the prednisone because that okay. might interfere with the, right. uh, you know, it's such a powerful anti-inflammatory, it's not going to, um, you may not react if you're on prednisone. Right. Let's say this shoe thing just blows up and you see, you know, redness and puffiness all around there. If I'm correct, what he's saying is go ahead and remove that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you take a picture of it right. and get it off of there because right. you don't want to have that, what happened to his feet, continue to happen to your back. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Do you have any other questions for me? No. Okay. Well, thank you very much for sharing this with our viewers. Yeah. And uh, 
you can uh, give a wave to YouTube, YouTube land. And, uh, we really appreciate it. It's very helpful for people to understand. I mean, you had probably the worst contact dermatitis I've ever seen. Certainly to have it happen in two places. And um, yeah. so anyway, it's, it's a good educational piece and I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah. That's awesome. So the official diagnosis was contact dermatitis. And I want you to know that, you know, as physicians, we get wrapped up in trying to figure something out when you first see it. And I was a little tricked by the fact that this patient had had a previous similar rash diagnosed as fungal and bacterial and treated as such and it had gotten better. And I remember thinking, no, that doesn't quite fit because of the symmetry. But nonetheless, it looked crusted, it looked infected, we cultured it, sent that off as you know. And I wanted to tell you what I was thinking this was, but I wanted to wait for this official dermatology visit before we shared that with you, kind of keep the suspense going. Anyway, that night I'm laying in bed just thinking, no, it doesn't make sense that it's just an infection. How do you symmetrically get an infection exactly on the same place on both feet? So I was pretty sure we were dealing with a bad contact dermatitis that could have gotten a, what's called a super infection. So you've got an open wound that can get infected. And it turns out the dermatologists have confirmed that. They're going to figure out, hopefully, exactly that it was this shoe, perhaps latex, some form of plastic or adhesives, as our patient pointed out, that actually triggered this horrible reaction of his immune system. And when you have such a contact dermatitis, I had mentioned in the opening video, wow, this could be poison oak or poison ivy, that kind of thing, that's exactly what happens. You get a welling up of your immune system histamine and reaction and blebs, almost like a burn. And uh, indeed, he's shown us that to be the case. I guess you gotta be careful what you put on your feet. Um, I hope this video was instructive and informative and sorry about the suspense. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.